Hi everyone, welcome. So I've seen a lot of people ask questions like, why are the Igbos not protesting? Why are they not asking questions about the hardship in the country? One, uh, Mr. Yusuf, who was uh, the um, former executive director of NHIS, uh, asked the same question on Saturday when he appeared on the Rice News television, uh, where he was saying that Igbos are uncharacteristically quiet about what was going on in uh, the Tulubu administration because it's, it's, it's almost as, as the former administration, which is Buhari's, and they, they were prominent in protest uh, at, at that time. Well, the question is, why are you expecting the Igbos to protest? Why is everybody calling for, uh, everyone calling for Igbos to come and protest? So that you label them as propagate? So that you shoot them? So that you bring uh, Operation Python Dance, Operation Crocodile Smile, to kill them again? Is that what you're looking to do again this time? Well, the Igbos have seen, and, and they're wise enough now to know that um, everyone would watch you drown if you are trying to push for one or two things. I'll give you an example. Nandi Kanu, what was he trying to do? Was calling the attention of everyone on how Buhari was employing and putting people in positions that they're not supposed to, and are not spreading these resources across board. He was just basically saying the appointment are lopsided, and Buhari was basically employing his kinsmen into government. That was all he was doing, the summary. A, B, C, D, one, two, three. That was what he was doing. Yes, he may have made some comments that were unwarranted. He may have made some abuses. But of course, that can be taken care of. But look, look at look at what they did to, it, did to him. And then look at what they did to his people who, are, who came out to protest about the lopsided appointment that the that, that that the Buhari administration made the uh, resources that were not fairly distributed we all know these things it's, is, is it is, is it not in this country that we saw all of those and they came out to protest the Igbos came out and protested the north was quiet the northwest was quiet the northeast was quiet even southwest was quiet because they had a vice president and they also had a fair share of appointment to some extent the South, South and South East were left out of the government completely from military to civilian to appointment, just name it. They were left out in the appointment in, in Buhari's administration. So they were brave enough to come out only for them to be labeled as pop and terrorist that they're looking to destabilize the government of Tinubu, government of Buhari at the time. And then they were sought to be killed. I remember a, 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 an interview that um, Buhari granted Al Jazeera. The Al Jazeera producers showed him a video of the unwarranted, the un unprovoked killing of young Igbo boys in a war in an Anambra state, in Abia in an Anambra state, in a where in Igbo state. And he, he showed it aside. He said he didn't want to see it. That he was even denied that that ever happened. That it, it's. It, and then they would try to show it to him that these are the what people your 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 soldiers on the ground are doing. And he showed it aside. He didn't want to see it. He, he pushed it aside. I, I, if I can get that video, I'm, I'm gonna play it back. But it, nobody made noise. The southwest was quiet. The north central quiet. Northwest quiet. Well, Igbos have learned their lesson. So do you want them? To come out now to protest about hardship for a government that they did not in any way install, or the government that they warned everybody about. Let me tell you something. The Igbos are busy trying to align with the policies of this government. They say that in in every misfortune there is a fortune if you don't know. So they are trying to align themselves in making money and getting themselves into opportunities, positions that they are seeing that no one is seeing. Yes. Yes. No matter how costly food may be in the market, a human man will eat food. No matter how high the dollar is, a human man will import goods and services. No matter how uh, um, um, destructive the economic situation is, a human man will survive it. They have had an antecedent of that. As a matter of fact, 67 to 70 was three years of blockade of food into the southeast. 
was 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 a massacre of people people of the southeast over three million people were killed in that particular massacre an unprecedented unwarranted civil war orchestrated by Gowon, the government at the time and today they have built themselves to the point that you can't match them economically you can't match them where how where, where how so on, on what basis then are you telling them to come out and protest? Protest over what? Someone that is busy trying to align themselves with what's going on in the economic situation in, in the country to come and protest for you so that you enjoy. The South is also participated in the so-called NSAS protest. The North was quiet. Were not were they not quiet? They did nothing because of course it's their man that was dead. There was no need. In fact, the protest that we saw in Kano and Kaduna was in support of the police. The, 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 the entire southeast and south south southwest were boiling about this brutality method upon us by the police in the name of protecting the Nigerian people. But no, the north was quiet and they, they, they didn't think they were, there was anything wrong with it. Now, the table that started, you wanted the southeast to protest again. You kill them and then you send the army to still, still kill them at uh, the uh, the toll gate in Lagos. The same army came out and killed them in, in Lagos. You kill them in in, 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 in Southeast. You, you kill them in Lagos. And then you are telling them to come out again and protest over hardship. Yibut will never do that. Go and check. There will be no, even the governors are not even speaking about it because they know that the resilient nature of an Igbo man is unleashed upon them. And again, you see, they really don't care about the amount of food in the market. They will buy it and be okay. Tell you, tell you for free. They will buy it and be very, very okay. You know, the few will just say, you know what? I'm done with this country. I will just travel out and, and feel good. And maybe when they when they are out there, they're just sending those dollars and pounds and, 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 and euro down here. And their people will be just fine. And maybe if the person doesn't really want to stay back, you know, they make way over there for their brothers and sisters to come over. After all, they, they do it even while they are in this country. The Igbo apprenticeship system is one that has been, that has been studied in the different universities around the world. And the, the, the study is, 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 is one that is um, um, basically is in support of their brothers and sisters, helping, giving them a helping hand, and bringing them from poverty to 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 riches, to wealth. That is what Igbos are known for in terms of growing themselves. So, the the reason why some of some Igbos even take took it upon themselves to do that process they did with the NSAS, and then the lopsided appointment that 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 the devil, the government of Buhari. Well, because they wanted a better Nigeria, not because they are sentimental or they, 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 uh, they, they have any affiliation to anybody. All they're asking is level playing field for everybody. If you, if you are given appointments to region A, if you're given six, give six to region B. If you're given seven to region D, give the same to the people in those areas and see if there will be any form of a, uh, Agitation. But what we see is nepotistic government, people who call themselves leaders, go on board, go on on, on as leaders, wearing the toga of, of, of leadership to en enrich their region, enrich their people, and selfishly siphon and, and, and siphon our monies to different countries, launder it, buy food, phone and clothes for their girlfriends, and, 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 and make it look like the country doesn't even have any money. And then people who are here in the country suffering have no home. And then you, you, you are in government. Come on, man. And trust me, let me tell you this for free. Let me tell you this for free. If it were Peter Obi, if Peter Obi had won that election, a sham election anyway, if Peter Obi had won that election and things went this bad, the Igbos would be the first go on the street so it wasn't about sentiment it wasn't about tribalism he was all along go and check all the people that they have voted for have been people 
with somewhat integrity well nobody is 100 percent uh pure when it comes to politics well even abroad but people who, who, who you see have a face of humanity obasanjo he was voted even though his southwestern region did not vote him he was voted him yaradua was a northerner he was voted him with all with our full chest before he passed on, God bless his soul, the good good of Jonathan took over in 2011. He was voted him, of course, because, I mean, he was a South Southerner, but he was felt that he could do better than the people who were parading themselves as, as, as leaders. Buhari was amongst them. Atiku was there as well. So go and check. People who Igbos have aligned themselves to are people who, who have a leadership in Akumen. Who can at least still, you know, lead in some sort of direction that that is pure and gold? But no, it must have agenda. Agenda. They have an agenda for what? How? What agenda? So you 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 after massacre after the massacre of sixty seven and seventy. You see massacre them in 2015, 2023, and then you want them to come out again between 23 and 2027 because they are the uh, you know scapegoats. They are the killjoy. They are people who don't who don't matter when it comes to pro problems of the country. They are the ones that will take the the front foot to protest. Nobody will get on the street in the south east of south south to protest anything. Nobody will do that. Anyone you see from now henceforth will be the one sponsored by one or two persons who will just pay one or two to three persons. But true, 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 truly in the heart of heart, nobody cares in the South East and the South South. So carry your cross. Oga, Yusuf, carry your people, get to the street. Tell the Sultan that nothing is going to happen. T tell the Sultan that the message that he, he, uh, he passed through the well of the president did not reach the president. The president will not even listen to anything. The president is bent on making sure that the economy is good and the people of the South is are enjoying it. In fact, the dollar is coming down. Dollar is being exchanged for 200 naira in Enugu. Yes, go and check. Dollar to naira is 200 naira in Enugu. Call people and check. We are enjoying it. We are in a different country. Okay? We are enjoying it. Food, a, a bag of rice is 20,000 in Enugu. Yes, come and check. Come and live here. Okay? So no matter what the economic situation is, the Igbos are not going to be the fall guy anymore. We played that politics in the past, and it's not going to happen this time. Let everybody enjoy what they have installed. You see, he's telling telling you that he did the this northwest did sixty two percent, and that's the highest for Buhari. He didn't tell you the indices, the reason why they did that. They sold the so called Muslim Muslim ticket. Use your Muslim Muslim ticket to go to the market to buy food. Okay, use your Muslim Muslim ticket, uh, yeah, uh, 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 food and buy food for, for 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 cheap cheap prices. Everybody knows what the right things are, but no. We first of all take our religion ahead of us. We suspend our brains and let our uh, ethnicity, religion, re re religiosity take over our brains because we are, we, we, are, we are senseless people, we don't use our head. Look at Saudi Arabia, predominantly uh, uh, Muslim. Look at the development for crying out loud. Is it the same thing that you guys are doing here? Of course not. People who have sat down, planned their lives for 10, 15, 20, 30 years. And then you and then you don't even when you want to pick leaders in your in your region you don't pick the best you want to pick the worst of people to lead you and then you turn around to complain you turn around to say that that things are not are, are not working. who are you talking to who are you telling so to hell with anybody who's talking about evil is not protesting we will not protest we are done doing the fall guy in this in, in this so-called contraption called nigeria so you guys should please go to the street and protest. Would I only assist you by, by tweeting and, and, and retweeting? Nobody will step on the street to protest. Nobody will do that. The Tedanas were uncharacteristically quiet. I'm done talking. 
all you do is just to sit at home do nothing if it's action we want to take we just sit at home and do our protest and that's it so telling us that we are not we are not talking how come we're not talking is it that we're we are enjoying what is happening we are enjoying it we love it this is the best thing that's ever happened to the country and to the on the right path of growth and development of this country the only thing is that your brother did humongous mistake Buari did stupendous mistake with borrowing and borrowing and printing monies without anything to back it up. And now he is trying to save up monies from the monies got, but let me tell you, from little like that, that I know, the monies gotten from the sale of crude, crude oil, the, the subsidy that we that received, is being used to pay the debt that Buhari took. Didn't you hear that we were using 98% of our income to settle debt? Didn't you hear it? That it was only 2% that that is was using to run the economy. Where did you get the money from? So what are you saying? So the, the, the man is doing his best to, 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 to repair the economy. That is the reason why he's not quick in increasing minimum wage. But that will come. But he wants to bring down the debt that your, your, your brother took uh, and, uh, and made the country. Do you know how much that debt that we are in? And he's using the money saved from substitute to pay. That is the reason why they don't have money to increase or money to save the Naira. That is the reason why. If you don't know, know it now. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm just telling you. That's the little that I know. So he's on the right path of growth and development. So if you want to protest, carry your people from the north. Go to the street of Kano. Go to the street of Kaduna. Enter Abuja if you like. And protest all the protests you want to protest. Do call the Igbos into it. Because we will not even listen to you. Let me tell you, nothing is happening in the southeast. We are cool. We like the, the president. We like his policies. We like all of his moves. Let's continue like this because this is this is what fits everybody, especially the north. In twenty twenty seven, we will still vote him. In fact, if you people, you people, you claim you gave him sixty two sixty two um, percent, right? No problem. In twenty twenty seven, South East or South South will give him eighty percent. He must finish that tenor. He's trying to repair what you, your brother has bought. So don't come and uh, 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 throw stupid tantrums and uh, ask uh, that you both come out and protest. Protest for what? Because it's not your brother. How many times did you protest on that boy? You want to tell us about um, protest? That's art nonsense. I'm just so pleased about this nonsense. Uh, I, 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 I cannot talk. Because you, you, it's easy for you to push them forward, and then they get killed, and then you come out and say that they are they are they are they are, they are, they are pop, they are terrorists. So you you installed him, you gave him sixty two percent, very good. Next time we will be the ones to give him eighty percent, so that you will be at par. You did your own in twenty twenty three. We'll do our own twenty 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 seven. Okay, let's see how. You guys will next time when they say vote vote wisely, you guys will understand the reason why we're saying vote vote wisely. So, so, so your Muslim Muslim ticket is working for us. So your Muslim Muslim ticket is working. It's doing us well. We'll vote him again in 2027. So please, can you go continue? We would uh, increase the volume from from this uh, uh, axis. Thank you for watching, Joe. Let me go and pick him to me.